Hi crazy, crazy Vapor fans. Well, I decided to uh, use black grout for this charcoal. And it looks pretty decent. I've got to do one more wipe down on these two. I uh, get that film off, gotta let it set just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to grab this. Well, kinda. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm not a professional. So any professionals watch this, uh any tips that you give me, I ain't gonna use because this is the last tile job. Well, I might use it, yeah, I still have to grab this over here. But I'll uh be doing this, so the brand I've got is Simple Grout uh, Charcoal. You can see it's kind of a, a black color, kind of grayish. Um, keep the lid on it while you're uh, working different uh, areas. Only do 15 30 minutes worth at a time. Uh, keep it covered, and uh, so we'll go from here. Wear gloves, you're going to make a mess. So, uh, you can't see it down here, but I've kind of taped the uh, tub a little bit. Where it falls down, it's going to fall down. No matter what you do. Try to cover the drain spout here so it don't. Uh, this is a sanded grout, so it's gritty. Uh, always clean your, your rubber float between uses. Uh, cause that sand gets in these little pores in here and clogs it up. So you gotta sit there and scrub it off too. So I got this clean. So we're ready to go. Yep. One more vape before we start. I am vaping Grumpy Old Bastard again. <clears throat> My wife was nice enough to go and get me a bottle of it. It's pretty good. Uh, I did done, done a review on that a while back. So, first thing you want to do is just load up a little bit on the end here. You don't want to get a whole trowel full because it just drips everywhere. Uh, basically, I dip my hand in it and then kind of go like that. It's easier than trying to dip it in the bucket because it gets all over the back here. But that's what I do. And try not to touch this over here. So you want to start from the top up here. Like I said, just a little bit. You want to smoosh it in there. Good as you can. There's the first drip already. Now just a couple little smooshes ain't going to do it. You got to go over it, side to side, up and down. It's not just one simple smooching is done. You gotta really get in there and them crack. That's something crazy vapor don't know about is getting in cracks no more. Like I said, you're going to make a mess. There's some more drips. Like I said, this stuff don't stick with a hoot. So, you got to get all the way to the edges. And, you know, you can not wear gloves if you want to and go to work with black hands. Get it all the way to the edge. Go back and forth, smoosh it in there. Going around the shower pipe hole. So I kind of got to be a little leery of that. Always want to wipe it down before you go on to your next area. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's real gritty. So, I don't think I quite got that top grout. A little bit more here, smoosh it in. Now, if you see, you're going to be having a lot of drips. You put your hand under it and catch it, re-stick it back on there. 
not gonna kill you, especially if you're wearing gloves. Alright. Looks like you got all the holes filled. I kind of block the light so I can see what I'm doing here. And you got a little time here to clean up as well. But they say on the instructions, leave the drought set for about 15, 20 minutes before you try to wipe off the grout that's all over your tile. He said, only use small batches. Don't get that tile full of crap. Gonna make a mess. Go up and down, all around. Get to the bottom of that hole. <sighs> but that's how the crazy vapor does it. your corners too just a little bit get that in there smoosh it around with your finger if you have to really especially around the water area you want it sealed up little batches hair and smear all right next Now I will be applying sealant silicone as well to the corners, but I just want to make sure that I have something in there that's going to fill that hole. Smear and go. Smear it, clean it up. Re smoosh if you have to.
Now when I go for more, I take it out of the middle just so it's more wet and smushes easier. You know, when you get it in the hole, it's got to be a little bit wet when you smoosh it in. Alrighty, we are looking good. Around the shower valve here, you want to make sure you get that grouted real nice because that's going to be where the water hits, drips down right here. You, you really need to get in there and get that sucker sealed. Getting a little dry. Might have to kneel down for the last part here, but when it's looking right, oh, there's a little hole. You always got to look from a different perspective. You might, you might uh, have accidentally missed the spot or just didn't stick. Looks like down here I didn't get my towel spacer set just like I wanted to, but it is what it is. As I say, it's set in stone already. Smoosh, smoosh. And some of these have pretty large cracks in them. So, like I said, you want to go up and down, side to side. Almost there. That's the whole bottom here to do. See, there yeah, I missed a whole bunch. Get your finger in the hole, dig that out. Alright. Get up here in that crack again, finger that crack. Alrighty. Don't like that, come on, get down in there.
Okay, a little bit right there, last. Smoosh it in. Can we give everything the once over here? I'm just gonna stick a. Yeah, why not? So I'm gonna stick in there, huh? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the inside of this tub spout right there. Give that a little extra. Alright! Got any extra big clumps? You can uh, pick it up. Get in there. Alright. So, give it to oneself again. Make sure you figure out all your cracks here. on the bucket and uh so basically all you do then is you wait let this set about 15 20 minutes and we've been going for 17 so i guess i can start up the top uh it looks like my glove had a hole in it this stuff washes off pretty clean as long as it's wet but you want to use a professional sponge and if you ever go over by the tile over at the big box store like Home Depot that had these uh, make sure this is you squeegee all the water out all right uh, let's put the lid on all right like I said we have a 15 20 minute window when the lid go no Right there. Alrighty. And run the hammer. Alright, we are done with the black. So, now that we're waiting a little bit, let's go ahead and pick up all those clumps down in the tub. Which... You see, that's what it kind of looks like right now. Everything's in. I've got this. All the gravel is over here. Uh, as soon as I get this cleaned off, I'll start rinsing this again. Uh, I've got it pretty well rinsed, but it needs... I already see a little bit of stuff that I missed. But uh, pick up all the big stuff in the tub. And after that, hey, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Um... I may show you what the, I will show you what the white looks like after I get done with it. But, uh, so, alright, peace out guys, got work to do.